All right, so we are here at Lebanon Valley for Muscle Mania. I got Squints helping me out, my pit crew. We um, actually got here about 8.15. We're just listening to the radio in the truck right now so we can hear because we are way out in the uh, field in the back area. If you know Lebanon Valley, it's, it's way out in the back field. So uh, we made our first test hit. I'll show that clip right now in-car YouTube clip.
Top fuel is louder than that. That was loud, but top fuel has a different sound.
24. All right, so we're back home. Um, let's do a little bit of a recap. Uh, so the car, first time out, uh, you'll see the video, um, in-car video, and you'll see Ricky took a video too, actually, squints. The uh, car worked good. I did not really kill it. Um, I just kind of drove it. So we were on motor only. Uh, kind of eased out of the hole, 
just so I wouldn't kill the rear or the clutch because I'm afraid of both. Um, the rear is still the original rear even though it has some good parts in it and the clutch is an older clutch that was in it when I bought the car back. So I don't really know how good it is. Uh, I have a feeling it at that point, you know, lately I've kind of felt like it's a little funny sometimes, like it does slip at the high RPM. Um, so I basically, here, let me put this down so it's easier. Do this like this. Let's see if this, this works better. Let's see if that works. So, so basically, uh, I eased out of the hole, did a basic burnout because the tires are older drag radials. Um, eased out of the hole, hit second gear, didn't power shift, just did a nice shift. You'll see in the video, I'm sure you can tell. Third gear, nice shift, fourth gear, and then kind of wanted to see where my gear ratio was at the end uh, in the quarter and realized that I was gearing out in fourth, even with the 373 in the rear because of the 26 inch tall tire. So I had to go to fifth and I went into fifth late and the car kind of nosed off a little, but it still went 1140. Um, went 1141, I think at 116. Um, so it wasn't horrible. Uh, it was a good solid starting pass for the first time racing it with that setup. Um, the, I have not raced that car since uh, 2006 Englishtown. So that was when I owned it originally and with the old motor. Um, with the five speed and it went 11 No, actually that day was on street tire. It was going 1220s. So um, So the second pass was Immediate elimination rounds. So I was kind of up in the air what I was going to dial in at so I dialed in 1139 uh, And I that's the only reason I did that was because I knew the car was slightly faster than 1141 it might have been more faster, but I just by driving it easy, I figured I had a few tents there that I dropped off. So dialed in 1139, and of course the person I'm racing, it's a girl that runs a Malibu, 79 Malibu or a 78, and she is a regular at Lebanon Valley car. She dialed in 1132, and I knew right away that if I did not cut a perfect light, she would beat me because she's spot on every weekend, and she had wind stickers all over her car. So that, that's a dead giveaway that you're... You either have to be perfect on the tree and perfect on your run, or you're not going to advance to the next round. So I figured, what the hell? Um, so my lights are always horrible because I don't practice enough. But um, I ended up going red, and I went a negative 020. So I was a little early on the light, but whatever. Um, the car felt good when I first launched it, and you'll see I did power shift that pass. But it seemed like every time I went into gear the clutch was flaring and then at the high rpm it really wasn't doing what it needed to do uh, and i was actually still kind of hanging with her she ended up going 1144 i think on a 32 dial which i was surprised she fell off um which was way off because she's normally spot on and then i ended up going i think 12 one or so i let out but by, by the high end i just gave up so it didn't even matter at that point but but it was good. I'm glad. Um, but honestly, uh, since I bought the car back, it's great that it's a stick car, you know, blah, blah. But I've just not been a fan of that car as a stick car anymore because I want to be able to cruise it. And not having that overdrive, not having, you know, the better gear ratio with a short tire. I really want an overdrive. So I do have the 4L80 uh, with a good converter. And it's an overdrive. So, I mean... I, I think it's time, so I'm going to probably swap it over to a 4L80, um, put a cool shifter in it, and then go from there. So, but that's it. Make sure to always torque your bolts.